I'm Olivia, and as always, I'm joined by my co-host Rashmi. Today, we're going to look at some recent regulations relating to taxes. We've got two major stories that we'll cover, one about a new Massachusetts tax and one about a Texas tax cut. But before we get into that, we have some news that affects all individuals. The IRS recently released the new inflation-adjusted tax brackets for the 2024 tax year meaning these are the tax brackets for when individuals will file taxes in early 2025. As a reminder, the U.S. has seven tax rates, 10%, 12%, 22%, 24%, 32%, 35%, and 37%. They are taxed on a marginal tax rate. The tax bracket is the income level that aligns with each rate. Rashmi, why don't you read out the tax brackets for 2024 for individuals filing single or married filing separately? Sure. The 10% tax rate applies to all income up to $11,600. 12% applies to income over $11,600 and up to $47,150. 22% applies to income between $47,150 and $100,525. 24% applies to income over $100,525 and $191,950. 32% is for income between $191,950 and $243,725. 35% is for income between $243,725 and $609,350. And finally, the highest rate of 37% 37 is for income over $609,350. That's a lot of numbers. Yep. The most important thing to note is that the government is adjusting income tax rates for inflation, meaning that the income tax rates are applicable and in touch with the current economic situation in the U.S. Standard deductions, minimum tax exemptions, and various other taxing qualifications have also been recently adjusted for the upcoming year. Now, let's take a look at some new tax-related legislation that more directly impacts us. School paid lunches have been a hotly contested issue for a long time. For Olivia and I, our school offered free breakfast and lunches during the COVID-19 pandemic through a relief program. However, this has recently changed back to the previous system of free and reduced lunches only for those who qualify. A lot of individuals feel that free lunches should be part of a student's public education. Not everyone is able to budget for expensive school lunches on top of household groceries. Massachusetts recently passed a new tax legislation that provides enough state revenue to fund free lunch for all students. A new 4% tax on the wealthiest residents of the state will bring in $1 billion for the state's $56 billion projected fiscal budget for 2024. Part of that new revenue is going directly towards paying for public school students' weekday meals. This new tax was voted on last year and went into effect in 2023, applying only to residents making over $1 million a year. It's called a millionaire tax, and it has amazing benefits for the state's students. This tax will help prevent growing food insecurity and minimize financial hardship for parents. Representative Jim McGovern, a Democrat from Massachusetts, stated that this tax, which provides free universal school meals, will literally change lives full stop. Great on Massachusetts for using its tax revenue to support its communities. Now, let's take a look at some legislation in Texas that is also helping communities, in particular, homeowners. In August, Governor Greg Abbott signed a new law providing a property tax cut of $18 billion. This law is aiming to help protect homeowners from being priced out of their homes by high taxes. It also is going to benefit small business owners. The bill is focused on lowering school district property taxes. Appropriate for the state, where everything is bigger in Texas, this is the biggest property tax cut in history and a victory for all Texas homeowners. It provides relief that property owners will actually be able to see and feel when they file their taxes, providing savings that can go towards other expenditures. On November 7, 2023, voters went to the polls and a simple majority would add this tax cut to the Texas Constitution. It was approved by over 80% of voters with more than 2 million votes in favor of this amendment. According to the Texas Tribune, these tax breaks should provide $2,500 in tax savings over the next two years. Government dollars will replace the taxes that previously went to school districts in a win-win situation. 
Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Community Corner Podcast, Personal Finance Edition. Next time, we'll refocus on personal finance, taking a look at tax forms. This is Olivia and Roshni, cashing off.